What's up, Fight Fans? Welcome to Mr. Mustache MMA News. And today, I want to discuss the curious case of Francis Ngannou and the UFC. But guys, before we get into it, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly. All right, guys, getting right into it. Francis Ngannou, now a free agent, granted his release by the UFC. Uh, the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion. I mean, it's a super bummer, but honestly, I'm kind of happy for the guy at the same time. Like, he just couldn't come to terms with the UFC. He basically said he wanted to get paid X amount of money. I think it was like, I think it was 10 or it was 30 million. I forgot which one it was, but he also wanted to have health insurance and he wanted to be able to have sponsorships moving forward on, on his upcoming deal. And the UFC just, they're like, no, we, we're not going to allow the sponsorships. We're not going to allow the health insurance. Mainly because that would mean that he, they would have to start budging with everybody else. So it's like they weren't willing to push on that. So he's like, all right, I'm out. Like, I'm going to go do my own thing. Box, make 30, 40 million against Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua. He could also sign with Bellator. He could also sign with the PFL. There was that Instagram or, or a Twitter post where his family in the background was wearing PFL shirts and whatnot. So he's definitely been in talks with them, obviously. Like, he wouldn't have done that for no reason. And... Scott Coker of Bellator is already has already come out on Ariel Hawani's MMA Hour and discussed how he would love to have Francis go over to Bellator and box also with Showtime Boxing as they are with Showtime. He would allow him to do both. So that would be enticing because, right, if Francis doesn't sign with one of these other MMA promotions and goes out and boxes, it might end up just being a one-off if he ends up losing or getting KO'd by Tyson Fury or possibly Anthony Joshua. If he goes out there, gets that bag, but takes an L, you could definitely be seeing him back in the UFC very possibly if he doesn't sign with another MMA promotion that allows him to do both things, right? So we definitely may not have seen the end with Francis and the UFC. We might be having this conversation again 12 months, 18 months from now. He's got a strike now, though, while the iron's hot. He's 30, 36 years old. And moving forward, I think it would be really smart if the PFL, what they're doing with Clarissa Shields, what they're doing with Jake Paul, allowing these boxers to come over, cross over, join their promotion, do both at the same time, probably get a piece out of the pie, work together here. That would be very enticing for Francis. And he could also do the same thing with Scott Coker. And that would be the really smart thing for these other promotions to do, grab Francis, before he goes off and boxes, because if he goes off and takes that L, he might go right back to the UFC. But that, I think, for the fans would be the best case scenario if we saw him against John Jones. I mean, that's kind of the fight that has eluded us, almost in a similar way of Tony Ferguson and Khabib, right? So, all this going out, I'm happy for Francis. He's going to go out and get paid regardless. I hope it happens sooner than later, because even if he takes an L, I hope that he has a secure paycheck with either Bellator or the PFL, but ideal situation. He goes out there, he boxes, he tests the water, he makes some money, and maybe comes back to the UFC, gets that gold again, fights either John Jones, Cyril Gan, or, or whoever is champion down the road. But honestly, he's got all the options in the world. It really fucking sucks that him and the UFC could not come to an agreement, but honestly, I don't think it was going to work anyways. That, that relationship with him and the UFC was just like a shitty... It was just like a shitty relationship in real life. Like it just, so many things have gone wrong and mistrust has happened in the past. All the things that went out with Cyril gone and they definitely tried to push him out. The Francis went out there with two, two torn ACLs. It was like, hold my fucking beer. I'm still the champ here. And now he's just like, fuck you guys, I'm out. And I don't really blame him for that. But at the same time, you know, if you want to be the best in the world, consider that as the best heavyweight of all time, you need to stay with the UFC. But if you want to go out and get your bag, no disrespect, but there's always going to be an asterisk next to his name. And that's going to be the only drama. So I can't wait to see what happens. I hope something happens sooner than later. He's definitely on the higher side of his 30s now. So he's got to act now. He's got to go out there, get his bag per se. And I can't wait to see what happens. Guys, I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section. What you guys think of the Francis Ngannou situation with the UFC. What he could possibly be doing moving forward. And what the future has in store with the heavyweight division also. I'd love to hear your guys' thoughts in the comment section. Guys, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button to continue getting more MMA content by yours truly. All right, guys, Mr. Mustache, MMA News out. Let's fucking go, fight fans.